everybody it's your girl so your girl but let me just say this if you're clicking on this video for the first time i mean you're welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe i mean the subscribe button is somewhere um beneath me i can't really remember whether it's at the right or the left but um, trust me you will see the spell thing the word subscribe is spelled in right mm -hmm. so you just touch it then you press the notification bell so just in case i drop another video now this is your girl Sylvia Gavra, and I'm so excited doing this one today because honestly throughout this period I've been getting some but I think this one is the most important one but some people just send me emails like Sylvia Gavra what do you think about this what do you think about that but I think this is the best so I just decided to treat it now today we're going to be talking about proposal like how, um, where's the best place to propose what the best thing to use how the best what the best way to save and all of that so we're going to be dealing with this issue then we we'll really really deal with it so well, um, before we get into it can i get two minutes no two minutes no five seconds i want to drink water permission i really needed water in fact eh, it's like i'm going to get somebody that will be massaging me at the time you know what i mean because sometimes after things i see and i just really need a quick massage and bottle water to push it that you know what i mean anyway you, <laughs> you're very welcome to my channel and of course if you find this video interesting you're free to like share and even subscribe yeah of course subscribe but you can share it on your platforms like show your friends and all of that seriously and um so we're going to start right from it for certain well in fact we'll start there so what is proposal like what does it mean when somebody say the person proposed what does it mean like i really need to state this clearly because some ladies tell me ah, my man has proposed i'm gonna ask you what did he say you start giving me long english i don't understand what do you mean um with the way things are going you will be the perfect one for me what's that no um, i'm trying to get myself together because i don't get it what do you mean um you're the perfect person for me uh, one day we'll be together we shall be together what's that <laughs> Father Almighty, see, I'm taking serious prayers right from this minute. I am praying seriously because this is becoming something else. You hear, ah, he just proposed, and I'm like, what did he say? And again, what did you say? Because it looks like um almost everybody wants to propose, ah, and they'll collect the ring and dance, or they'll start dancing around. <laughs> My father. So I think there is no room for somebody to say something, or maybe the only thing that is permitted to say is yes. It's permitted to say is yes. I don't know. You see, your girl doesn't really know everything, but I, I'm knowing small, small. Seriously, I'm like, let's deal with this once and for all. Seriously, what did you say? What did he say? The idea is, will you marry me? That's just it. That's the con this is what I want to hear. All the English that comes before it and after it is not really a problem. Will you marry me? And me, I think before the yes, I should be asking you when. No, seriously. No, okay, um, let me just give you an example. Like, when? No, seriously. Nobody has said, oh, see, I never don't worry, I'll give you a can. I'm like, when? Shy sound reasonable asking when. Let me know where let me know when I'm keeping my mind, expecting my car. So why did I when you say will you marry me? No question. Just yes. No, for me it's very funny, seriously. And I've seen people wear rings for years. I've seen five years, I've seen seven years, I've seen them practically living together. No idea of marriage. Nobody is talking about it again. In short, we are training children, we're sending children to school. Nobody's talking about it again. And I'm like, Shay, if you had asked him yes, daddy, would have known that he's a serious person or whether we would just send him to sit on one side and be praying first. No, seriously. I've, I've hardly had anybody ask when. And this is a discussion. Forget about the serere, all the surprise. No, this is a discussion. Two adults, we are talking. Okay, see, Gabriel, would you marry me? And I'm like, when? And then he says, okay, I'll be ready in the next one year. Then you check it as the girl. The next one year, will I be ready? No, in the next one year, I might still be in school or in the next one year, I'll be ready. You know, this is a discussion. Forget about collecting the ring and jumping and all of that. Now, <laughs> seriously, guys, for me, that's not proposal. Like, for me, you're telling me a whole lot of stories. Maybe you're trying to compile all the movies you've watched or something. But seriously, that's not proposal. Straight question, would you marry me? And I think, I'm like, okay, like when when are we talking about let me know if it's okay by me and all of that so we'll start making arrangements you know what i mean before we finally collect the ring guys if there's any ring anyway let me hold my mouth now what where the best place to propose somebody asked me that okay um because some people are like okay i want to be sure he's the right person maybe we should go to a church and all of that me i'm like are you for real i don't know sometimes i i keep wondering is it that i'm standing upside down or that some people are standing upside down. How comes we reason? How come we reason differently? No, it gives me it gives me concern most of the time. No, I'm not joking. Like you see, I'm not laughing. And I'm, <laughs> I'm 
not about to laugh. See, Mr. He keeps me consigned. So you're wondering where is the best place to propose. Me, I don't even think the best, the place is important or the ring is as important as the person proposing. No, some people, you see that's the problem. I feel sometimes like as if I'm standing upside down. Seriously, that's just the feeling I get sometimes. Seriously, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So I've seen people, I've seen a video of somebody who proposed underwater. You won't believe it. You won't. And then they were all wearing that thing they wear on their face so that they could breathe and all of that. Then he brought out the ring and the girl showed some expression on her face like she's excited and all of that. I'm like, no, what does people say? I'm not fun to be with because I don't understand. So you have to take me under the water to bring not if it's a joke, stop it. What if Shaq swallows this ring now? Do you know what it takes to buy a ring? No. <laughs> That's by the way. Seriously. Like you see some people, okay, let's go to the church that God will be present and all of that. You don't understand. As children of God, we carry God. Wherever we're going to, we carry God. So if it's in a church, anywhere you like, but seriously, the place and the, like I've had people say, um, what's the best drink to use? Some people tell you, if it's not diamond, I'm not taking it. If it's not gold, I'm not taking it. If it's not silver, I'm not taking it. You know, stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Some people can't afford a ring. And yes, that doesn't make them less human beings. Some people just feel like, okay, is, is this important? What I want to hear, I just want you to hear, I want to hear, let's discuss this, we're both adults, when are we getting married? Okay, we've discussed it, alright, so I'm sure now that I'm getting married to you, you're getting married to me, so the ring is just like a symbol, you know what I mean? So, if it's not the, it can still work, it should, it's still working, because there are some people who don't, normally they don't even like to wear rings, like, I don't know, I guess I'm one of them, you know what I mean? They don't really like to wear rings, now if you're a ring person, you like to, there are rings in the market, you can buy yourself a lot, why are we having this conversation? Best ring, what? <laughs> Even if it's later, you see, I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah. my, my, my point is this. The person proposing is more important to me than whatever he's using to propose, the place, whatever. Now, I've seen people propose with a car. That's a beautiful thing. There are some people who propose with a house. Like, um, this is the key to the house and all of that. Now, that's a very beautiful thing. It's just that it has side effects. Now, I'll tell you what I mean by that. Because sometimes, the way we're we'll doing the courtship and all of that, I've seen that you're not a reliable person, you're not a reasonable person, you're not responsible, but you stood in front of me with a car. Now, ladies who are not matured, I mean matured mentally, like matured, will want to focus on the fact that he brought a car. Forgetting that the person standing in front of you is a wicked soul, which you are going to be submitting under. You get my point? So that's the problem with the gift thing. I prefer we talk it out. Tomorrow the gift can come. You bring the gift on that day when I'm sleeping, when I'm awake, when we are married, no problem. But for today, we are discussing this. You want to marry me when you, you that hit me the other day, you that don't let me talk, you that is so possessive, you want to marry me. I'm sorry, uncle, I can't, I, I, I cannot. No, seriously, because I keep wondering, maybe I'm the only one thinking like this. See, you can always leave your comments at the comment section. Let me know if I'm okay. Or maybe if I need the help of the Lord. Of course, I know all of you are praying for me. Just do one prayer for you people too. You know what I mean? No, seriously. Seriously, guys. Now, let me give you this brief story before we cut this. Um, There's this girl I knew in school now. Um, She was living with a guy. I keep bringing her to school and all of that. Now, it is, was obvious that the guy was abusive. He beats help in the care. He beats help. In fact, there is no location for him. Anytime he's upset. And... They were just dating, like they weren't married. But they were living together. I don't want to talk about living together today. I don't don't even look at me. I'm not talking about living together today. So one day I was standing by the road south, I was waiting for somebody, and then the car just stopped with her inside of it. And the windows, um the windows were down, the glasses were down. So I saw when he literally gave this girl a dirty slap. Now some people will tell me, see you are being biased, you don't know what she did. I'm like, what in God's name would she have done that you could not control yourself? No, that, I'm, 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 see, I'm, I want to start speaking French now. It's okay. Let's not talk about it. So the idea is that, not just that he stopped her, he came out from the car, came to the other side where she was sitting, and he was pulling her out of the car with her seat belt still on. I was like, I don't understand this guy. So, you know what I did? You know, normally, I don't know. I can't stand things like this. It's just me. I thought some of the stouts around there. I was like, look at what is going on. And I, you know there are some people that still have sense. The two boys, they rushed to the place. And eh, they really... Oh my god, I was at the scene. I was just looking from that place where I was standing. You know, I'm a very fragile person. I don't want them to break my hand. But they really loaded the guy. They gave him enough blues. And I was impressed in the spirit. You know what I mean? Some guys actually feel nobody can beat them. No one walk around oppressed women and they just feel like nobody can touch them. So let's not talk about that. They gave him enough blues. But you know what? The girl came out from the car. She was practically kneeling down, begging them to leave him alone. That was when I came. I was like, Auntie, hmm. it's true they are beating him. But I don't understand you. It's like you need the touch of the Lord. Now, that's not even the gist. You won't believe it. Weeks later, she came to school. She was so excited. She was giving, um, she was sharing snacks and all of that. Of course, the snacks was free, so I collected one. You know what I mean? So she was showing her friends the ring that a guy finally proposed. I'm like, 
you see that we need to get um a new prayer warrior for ladies i don't think i'm praying enough you mean this person this person that we all know proposed and you accepted not just that you accepted you were excited do you know what it means to submit yourself under somebody? Now, that's a great job. Talk more of submitting yourself under somebody who is wicked, callous, self-centered, and... Okay, I see you. Forget about it. So, the idea is, I don't care what that man proposed. I don't care the kind of ring he used. My point is, who is the person proposing? So, guys, let's just cut this, right? Now, I know you must have learned a lot from me. Like, and I know I'm going to learn a lot from you from the comment section. I know there are people who will disagree with me. I know people who say, okay, so you're doing very well and all of that. But seriously, guys, if you ask me, wherever it is he wants to propose, whatever he wants to use, that's his problem. My problem is who is the person proposing? And please, not every proposal has yes. You know this guy. Proposal is not a surprise thing. I wonder why people are surprised. I, like, do you just see strangers come to you to say they want to marry? If it's a stranger, then that would not be surprised. Of course, we're dating, so I should know when, yeah, I should have the feeling, you know what I mean? So, I don't really care much about what he uses, where we go to. My point is, who is this person? <laughs> Alright guys, until I see you guys next week, it is. Bye.